Hi everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see about how to scrap data using regular expression. So I'm going to cover the video into two parts. In the first part, I'll be using a beautiful soap. In beautiful soap, uh, if the class has some name or uh, if it's having some pattern means, I'm going to use regular expression to find it out. And the next part will be uh, using regular expression to find the tags itself without using beautiful soup or any other modules, how to use regular expression to scrap the data. Like that, I'll be uh, covering those topics in this video. Okay, let's dive into the video now. First, let's import the modules. Import modules. And I will also say, so part one, using beautiful soup. So the first thing will be from BS4 import beautiful soup, beautiful soup. The second one will be import request. Third one will be import RE, that is regular expression. We will just import all the modules here itself. Run this. Now, as usual, we have to scrap the data. Get the data using URL. So URL will be empty for now. And after that, we'll be uh, getting the page content using request. So page equals request dot get url so these things uh, we have covered uh, before so we are going to use some url and get the page content after that uh, we'll be uh, covering uh, how to use regular expression to find some patterns inside the tags so let's see that now so for this i'm going to go for uh, imdb uh, movies IMDB movies. I'll go for top rated movies. So here uh, we have all the ratings and the ranks and titles, everything is there. So we will go for F12. Now we have to get some tag using regular expression. So first we will see uh, what are the things we have here. So everything is script and I think uh, we have to go into some division. So here in H1, there is a class called header and in division, the class called byline is there. So maybe I'll just uh, get this top 250 as rated by IMDB users. This division tag I'm going to get. What I'm going to do is um, in the division tag, with the class name starting with by that is a pattern uh, it didn't care about uh, what are the other things it have just by line so i'm going to get this class but using regular expression i'm not going to fully mention the class name that is by line i'm going to mention half the name so we have some kind of pattern you can able to use this uh, identifying the pattern for uh, many web, web scrapping scenarios so it will be very much useful for you so I'm going to go for this div tag and byline as class. So we will copy this URL. So paste the URL here. Run this, run this. Let's display the page, page.content. Run this. So it's a messier data here. So this will get the page data. Now parse the data. For this, we are going to use beautiful soup. Soup equals beautiful soup of page dot content comma HTML dot parser parser now print soup dot prettify run this 
Now we have got uh, the HTML uh, tags with all the cleaning done. So it is pretty much clean. Now we are going to use regular expression. So regex to find particular class. So here I will say tag equals soup dot find the tag is division so div so the tag we are going to find is div so div comma class underscore so here we are going to mention the pattern so here read dot compile we are going to specify the pattern so that will be r by i will say plus let's see whether we have found the corresponding tag we have seen in the web page see this is uh, one or uh, more string i'm just uh, mentioned the starting characters as by and it just uh, fills the pattern like this there are so many regular expressions you can able to use but we got our uh, tag so if you say tag dot text see we got our intended text so that's how you can able to use regular expression to find the particular uh, tags it can be any type of ids or it can be any types of classes so you can use it for anything so that is our first part in the second part part two using regular expression alone so i'm going to use regular expression uh, to find the particular tag itself instead of using the beautiful soup so for this i am going to use this uh, page dot page content itself so this is the page dot content so let's compile the html file so here read out find all we already have the page dot content so i am going to specify the pattern here so before that let's uh, define which uh, tag we are going to get so here we are going to get some particular uh, tag so there are uh, various tags here uh, let me check so these are all having the header tag script is also there let's see whether it has some title title i want a title tag if it's uh, having the title tag means title 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 there are three titles i think i will just uh, get this first title alone or else we can able to get all the titles uh, let's see so i'm going to use this title tag and uh, get the content everything in between so for that use the regular expression tag so the uh, pattern will be title and it will end by slash title and in between it can be any content so dot star question mark so this will get all the content in between these tags uh, let's run this so before running the cell uh, we have to specify the page so that is uh, this page i am going to pass it as a uh, text so page dot text so before that uh, let's display the text here so page dot text run this so this is our uh, complete uh, source code of the page now let's find the tag run this see it has find the content in between the title tag imdb top 250 imdb imdb top rated uh, movies 
let's see if it's uh, there in the page source so here imdb top 250 imdb that we have got and the next one imdb top rated movies so here it's not having any text this is uh, some kind of link so it did it just uh, ignore that otherwise uh, we have got our uh, two titles uh, that matches the pattern so we can able to get any type of tag using this uh, alone if you want to get all the stuff maybe uh, let's copy this and paste it here so now let's uh, try to get the whole tag so i'll just use some brackets here now as you can able to see it just captured the whole tag here title uh, this is the whole tag that we want and the text so like that you can able to easily uh, capture the information and uh, using regular expression you can able to scrap the data so beautiful soup it just uh, simplifies the effort you need to put uh, in order to get the data you want so this is uh, much simpler than using some uh, patterns uh, you want but uh, combining all these techniques you can able to uh, definitely uh, ease your process if you want to scrap uh, multiple data with some common uh, patterns or uh, names it will be very easier for you that's why we have to take advantage of the regular expression i think that's it guys that covers the entire video if you like this video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe the channel and share it to your friends see you guys in the next video